guys back again with another video so I'm about to talk about how you can book your very first load real quick with a brand new authority now first and foremost I know a lot of people are starting their own authority without even having a truck yet because to start your own authority right it's only 300 bucks to activate that authority all you need is your BOC 3 and your UCR right and of course insurance those are the only three things you need to activate your authority so it's going to be a little bit of a sacrifice because I'm sure you heard or you hear people say you know it's tough getting loads the first 30 days 60 days 90 days which it's not really tough I would say that the most challenging thing would be is getting loads to pay what you want them to pay to me that's the sacrifice because if you think about it if you're running loads right now whether you're a company driver or you're leasing your truck on to someone and you are really ready to do your own thing you know you already been running freight cheap anyway so to take that initial sacrifice to get out there and start moving loads for yourself if you got to take a little bit of cheaper freight to get your foot in the door and to get your authority you know 30 60 90 days then that's what i had to do you know i had to do it a lot of people have to do it unless you know a broker that's going to straight up let you run with them brand new then this is the route that you have to take also real quick i really recommend that you guys purchase your truck first before you apply for the authority even if you purchase your truck lease your truck onto a carrier then apply for your authority you can still already put that truck to work before your authority goes active that way the transition will be a lot smoother so it's not illegal to have your truck leased onto a carrier and run on your own authority you can do both that will give you another opportunity to run your truck as well until your authority gets some maturity right you can lease your truck on and have your authority active at the same time and that way you can kind of like run loads until your authority get 30 60 and 90 days now that's going to be totally up to you because depending on what your insurance cost would be you know you got to do what's most cost effective for you so all right guys also too i'm looking at these on my computer but they do have apps so you can definitely do this from your phone ch robinson uber definitely has an app they mostly i mostly book all my loads from the app if I use them and also TQL they have an app as well so I'm doing it on my computer right now but the app they do have an app to do all of this and it's kind of user friendly too so keep that in mind so I'm going to start with CH Robinson CH Robinson is who I ran my very first load with now what you want to do is let's say you're in Atlanta I like to start with Atlanta because I know Atlanta got a lot of freight and it's a lot of people that taught me they be from Atlanta or from this area and we're going to keep it on a hundred mile radius so let's type in Atlanta real quick all right we're gonna start with Atlanta Georgia and um, we're gonna do this for pickup for today let's start with tomorrow tomorrow's Friday right so let's do pickup for tomorrow um, typically loads that pick up on Fridays are gonna deliver Monday you may get some Saturday ones but we are just gonna to have to wait and see so we're just going to go ahead and search we're going to keep everything the same equipment type now a lot of people ask me about box trucks now this they don't have box truck what you would have to do is call and see if they got a box truck division and they would probably have a separate load board for that on all the ones that i'm going to show you except for uber uber don't do box trucks not that i know of i can be wrong correct me if they do do box trucks but when i first started this they didn't do box truck so this is for van reefer flatbed so um i operate van so let's put it on van and then we're going to search this up all right so these are all the loads and as you can see you got the origin which is where the load is at the time that it pick up the destination that it's going drop off the weight the distance um, and then you also have the rates here on the side which I do like I like that they actually post the rates for some of these now in most cases not even most cases but a lot of cases you will want to call when you call to book this load but now this is brand new too I'm, I want to say that this is brand new with CH Robertson you can go ahead and book the load right here right you can go ahead and book the load right here right now now to book these loads, the very first thing you need to do is, once your authority goes active, is go to these companies' website, call them up and say, hey, I want to put in a carrier packet. A carrier packet isn't nothing more than they're going to send you a link, you fill out the information in the link, send it back to them, and they're going to onboard you into the system. That's going to give you access to the load boards and allow you to start booking loads with them. That's all that is. That's what 
a carrier packet is. It's nothing more that you have to send in some big packet or anything like that. It's just the onboarding process, okay? So, all right, so now this one's at McDonough. You know, the dead head is 29 miles. All right, Union, um, Union City, 17 miles. So let's say we want to go to, let's, let's see where we want to go. Um, let's see. All right, so this seems like something I want to run right here, right? All right, so this one is in Covington, Georgia. It's a 34-mile deadhead going into Jacksonville, right? As you can see, this load is paying $1,410, right, to go 285 miles. So if you really want to get real super technical, you guys can pull up a calculator, right? You can pull up a calculator here, and then it's paying 1410 all right, divide that by 285 miles. So that's about $4.94 $4 a mile, okay? So if you wanna get technical into how much cents per mile that you're getting, that's how you calculate that. But I really wanna go into that detail. But let's say that's a good price. I wanna go ahead and run this load. I'm gonna call them up and I'm gonna try to get a bump regardless. And usually, if I'm okay with the load, I'll try $100, $150 to see what they say. So you call them up. If you don't, right now, you can just click book it. You can just say book it. They're going to send you the rate confirmation. You're good to go. You can run that load, and that's your very first load. Deliver that load. When you pick it up, they're going to give you the bill of lading, right? So once you take the paperwork, you deliver the load, you get that sign. They're going to give you a copy. You will upload the rate confirmation along with that signed bill of lading submit it to your factoring i recommend factoring if you're brand new because you want to be having good cash flow coming in every single day submit it to factoring you're going to get paid the next day well it's friday so if you submit it it's not going to get processed till monday so you'll get paid tuesday all right so now 1410 you can call and get a bump up you can book it but this is what i would do if you guys want to know what i would say if i call them up trying to get a bump I would call them up and say, hey, I'm taking a look at this load going from Covington, Georgia to Jacksonville, Florida. They're going to pretty much ask you the numbers, right? They're going to ask you these numbers here on the left. So you're going to provide them with these numbers on the left. That allows them to pull up these numbers in their system. And they're going to see the load going from Covington to Jacksonville. And they're going to give you some information. They typically have a little spell. You know, hey, this load is picking up in Covington, delivers time, and they're going to give you how much it weighs. They're just going to go through their little spill. And then I would say, Okay, um, I can pick this one up for you. Do you think you can do 1500 And then sometimes they'll say, I'll do 1500 or they're going to counter you, or they'll put you on hold and go check with who really have control over these numbers, right? So they may come back and say, I can't do 1500 but can you can you do 1450 I'll do 1450 right? Boom. And they're going to send you the rate confirmation with the new rate confirmation they're going to send you with the new rate 1450 is going to have it on there make sure you verify your rate confirmation that it got 1450 on it and then now you can go pick up the load when you go pick up the load that rate confirmation is going to have the pickup numbers and all that type of stuff that you need to pick up the load and then of course the shipper is going to give you the bills right so now we need to get out of jacksonville now the easy thing to do is is book another load with ch robinson because you can sit there and book two loads with the same person on the phone. So what I would do is I would go back to my loads. We're gonna just modify the search here, right? And then, so now I'm gonna put my origin in Jacksonville. Jacksonville, can't type today. Jacksonville, Florida. All right, so Jacksonville, Florida. All right, we're gonna keep everything the same. Now, also too, we wanna to have this pickup on the day that that delivered, right? So that one was delivering on the 13th, in between seven and 10. This is another good tip. I like loads that have windows, right? I like my loads that have windows because I don't like hard set appointments. Because if I had to pick this load up at 7.30, that means I have to be there at 7.30. With this load, as you can see guys on right here, I can pick this load up in between 7.30 and 2.30, right? So in between 7 and 2.30, I can pick it up at any time between then. And then I don't have to drop it off until Monday. I have to be in Jacksonville in between 7 and 10. That gives me a little window. As you can see, some of these have hard appointments, meaning that you have to be there at that time. But if I'm going to be booking another load, then if I got a little window, then that means I can at least, you know, get some 
some cushion to when I have to deliver that load, right? I have to be there by three. So that means I have to find a load that picks up by the time that I have this load delivered. So let's say that I'm gonna be there at 7 a.m. as soon as possible, right? I'm gonna deliver this load at 7 a.m. on Monday. I'm gonna be there at 7 a.m. Let's say give a window. You gotta time yourself. I'm gonna give them about two hours unload time. So seven, eight, by nine o'clock, I'm expected to be unloaded. That way, once I'm unloaded, I'm going to find a load that's close by that I can pick up to go to my next stop. So that means I have to find a load that picks up, let's say after 10 a.m. So let's find a load that I can pick up by 10 a.m. So now we're on Jacksonville, right? So let's search this up. I need a load. Oh, I'm sorry, I need a load Monday. Let me see, I need a load for Monday. So Jacksonville on Monday, I'm gonna be in Jacksonville on Monday. So let's change the date. So I'm, we're gonna be in Jacksonville on Monday. So right here, as you can see, I got some loads that are windows, right? And they're going to all different places. But I see one from Jacksonville going right back to Forest Park, going right back to Atlanta. But as you can see, this one is paying 650 this load needs to be in Atlanta or Forest Park by 1415 which is 215 so I can get this load picked up you know in between 3 and 1800 in Jacksonville and then I have to have this load in Forest Park Tuesday by 215 so that's over two thousand dollars in loads right there for Delivering Monday, delivering Tuesday. That's over $2,000 right there. So that right there, you can book your first load from Atlanta to Jacksonville, from Jacksonville back to Atlanta. You can book with C.H. Robinson, brand new, brand new authority. So that's C.H. Robinson. So let's take a look at some other ones while we right here real quick. So let's take a look at TQL. Um, they're another one that you can run with. Now I was told that TQL don't take new authorities anymore. Now, I would call and verify that, but when I started two years ago with my authority, I ran with them brand new. So let's look at Lowe's. We're gonna click on search right here. And let's say we in Dallas, all right, D-A-L-L. Let's say we in Dallas, Texas, and we wanna go, we're gonna keep it on 150 mile radius. Let's say we're picking up on Monday. Let's say we want to start. We want to start our new authority off on a Monday. We want to start off brand new. We're gonna take off the weekend, and um, we're just gonna start fresh. So let's see what Monday is. All right. Oh, one thing. I gotta go to trailer type because it's gonna give me all different ones. So you guys can see it's gonna have flatbed and all this type of stuff in there. So, um, but we'll just keep it here. Let's say you guys are reefer. Let's do something different. Let's say your reefer, um, dry van, whatever. Right. Dry van or reefer, it don't matter for this one, you can pick it up. This one is going from Dallas to Arizona. And if you are not caring about being an OTR driver, then as you can see, you can go pretty much anywhere you want to. But, all right, so let's say you're going from Fort Worth, Texas to Jacksonville, which is by the Dallas area. All right, it's a 34 mile deadhead. Now, as you can see, this one don't have any prices, so you would have to call them. It don't have the rate on here. And also, let's click on here, let's see. All right, so it's gonna tell us the miles, right? Nope, it doesn't. This one doesn't tell us the miles. It don't even tell us how many miles it goes from Fort Worth to Dallas, Texas. So what we're gonna to have to do is just Google this one. So we're gonna type in Fort Worth, Texas to Jacksonville since you know I like going to Jacksonville. So let's go here. We're gonna type in Fort Worth. Fort Worth, Texas, all right? And we're gonna to go to Dallas, right? We gotta, we gotta figure out how many miles this is. All right, now this is a little bit of dispatching work, guys. This is how you would dispatch. So, all right, so this is going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. All right, let's see how many miles it is from Jacksonville to Dallas. All right, so this is 1,027 miles. If you take 10, 1,062 miles, so about 1,062 miles. So what would your rate be on this? 
Let's see. So let's say you had three dollars a mile, one thousand sixty-two miles times three dollars a mile, right? You're gonna say, or you're gonna want three thousand one eighty-six. But now keep in mind, depending on how brand new you are, you might not get three thousand or three dollars a mile. They're probably gonna want to give you a dollar eighty-five, something like that, um, for the one thousand sixty-five miles. All right, times, let's say they had $1.85 a mile on this one. 1,065 miles times $1.85, which that's up to you to run it for that, but that's probably what they're going to be at. They're going to be at 1972000 dollars you know, to run that load. Now, that's going to be totally up to you to run that. You can always ask for more money. You know, you guys get it, right? So, and then what you would do is, on the same thing, you want to go back to Dallas. You would type in Jacksonville. I like to book them with the same person, but if you can't find what you're looking for, you can definitely go over to C.H. Robertson to find you something out of Jacksonville, right? So you can you can definitely definitely cross over, find a load going to wherever you want to go to. But let's say I want to go back to Dallas, all right? So we want to go back to Dallas, Texas, or you can do a triangle. You can go from you know Atlanta to Charlotte. From Charlotte to Jacksonville, from Jacksonville back to Atlanta. If you don't want to be home or you don't have to be home every single day or every other day, you can definitely do it that way. So this one delivered on the 14th. So we want to go back home. We're going back home to Dallas. Let's see what we got. We got one load on this one. Only one picking up and kissing me, which is you got to go from Jacksonville down into Orlando area to pick this load up to get you back to Dallas. Now, you might be okay with deadheading 144 miles. That's not that bad if you can get that load taking you right back to Dallas. Or you can go over to, you know, C.H. Robinson or find you another load that's picking up a little bit closer by. But if that was the only one out there, then that might not be a bad load to take. So you can definitely take a look at that one. So the next one we're going to take a look at is Uber Freight. So Uber Freight... This is their platform, real simple, real clean. You just type in where you want to go, where you want to deliver, and um, there you have it. But it looks like Uber too. This is new. Now, I just typed in trailers. Let me see if Uber got flatbeds. Let me see. Let me find out Uber got flatbed. Let's type in anywhere. Let's say I want to pick a load up anywhere. We just want to see what they got. Uh, I have to type in somewhere. Let me see. Let's type Houston. Uh... Houston. All right, Houston flatbeds. All right, we got a couple flatbed loads in Houston. So there you have it. If you guys are flatbed work, you got van and reefer flatbed with Uber Freight. When I started with Uber Freight, they were van only. But of course, I run van. So let's put it back on van. And I am in California. Let's say I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and I want to get out of there. It's Monday, and I need to get out of here. I got a van. Let's get out of Los Angeles. Where we want to go? If you don't mind going all over the place, you can go anywhere. Now, Uber Freight, they're going to give you the rates. So they're going to give you the rates. They're going to give you the rates right here on the side. And as you can see, they give you also to the distance and the cents per mile, all that stuff. So very useful information. Now, dedicated lanes. Let's see. Irvington. All right. So this one's going to Irvington. And look how much it pays. This load pays $4,000. All right. So let's go to Irvington, right? How far is Irvington from Dallas? I'm not sure. But let's say Dallas up here or Fort Worth. Let's type in Irvington. Irvington. All right. So that's only 25 miles from Dallas. So let's go to Dallas. All right. Let's go to Irvington, Texas. So this load right here on Uber is going to Irvington. Walnut. Picks up in Walnut. Going to Irvington, Texas. It picks up between 9 a.m. and 1845. And it delivers September 15. But that's what I would do. As soon as I get my authority active, I will have all three of these because it would be not easy 
But it won't be too difficult to find those depending on where you're going. If I'm going from Atlanta to Jacksonville or Jacksonville to Atlanta or Dallas to anywhere, California, whatever, I will have all three of these. And then, of course, you saw me using one to pick up. But if you had to, you can definitely pick up a load, deliver it in an area that's Uber Freight. You know, if Uber Freight don't got nothing coming out of that area, you can definitely go to TQL, get something off TQL, going to the next area or going back to wherever you want to go to. But I hope the video was helpful. This is how you book loads real quick with a brand new authority because you're going to have to have that 30, 60, 90 day period before any of the other carriers would actually let you pull loads for them. But these three, you can be brand new. You can start booking loads immediately as soon as your authority goes active. So like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I hope the video was helpful. See you in the next video.